Hi guys, I'm back. Last video I said I'd probably do a drawing tutorial, so that's what I'm going to do today. And since most of the stores have a bunch of Valentine stuff out already, I thought I would just do something cute and Valentine related. So today we're going to draw a French Bulldog and then I'm going to try to incorporate a uh, some valentines into this so if I don't talk a lot during this video I apologize I am just in deep concentration I am left-handed so this is just a sketchbook spiral bound sketchbook and the spiral is on the right hand side because I am left-handed and it's just easier for me to to have my hand out this way so we're going to start off with the head and what I'm going to do is just kind of determine where I want it on my paper. So I'll just mark the size of the head, top and bottom. And you guys probably can't see that very well. So let me do it a little darker. See if I can adjust my light a little bit. So there's the top of his head. There's the bottom of his head. And then his head is, so we'll do basic shape here. He's round, he's got a round head. So we'll just do like a circular shape from the top of my mark to the bottom of my mark. And I hope you can see that it's always start out light. I'll try to do it a little darker to so that you guys can see. So this is just a circular shape from the top of the head to the bottom of the head. And his head's kind of tilted. And I'll, I'll leave a link to my reference photo. I'm using a reference photo from Pixabay. So in the description, I will leave a link to that. And the center, he's kind of tilted a little bit. The center of his head is kind of off because he's looking sideways a little. We're cock cockeyed. So this will be his center of his face. So we'll do a center line. And then See, his eyes are probably start right there, and they're kind of like I said, his head is tilted to the side, so he's kind of like this. His eyes are kind of like this. His nose down here. This probably is not going to be perfect, guys. Just bear with me. It's been quite some time since I've drawn anything. So I'm just estimating where the eyes, the nose are. And his head is not obviously perfectly oval. And we will, this will be, this is like the very center of his head. And it's kind of pointy, a little bit triangular. So we'll do a slight curve here. Then where his ears begin goes like this. Slightly just where his other ear is kind of like this. I'll just try to talk you through my thought process as I go along. See the angle of his head, where his ears are. Then it kind of like, just kind of like straightens out here like this. It's got some wrinkles on the side, some side wrinkles here. So this is kind of like his neck wrinkles. And then kind of got an indent here 
goes like this, kind of where his cheek is, and then his muzzle starts. So here's his eye line. Here's where kind of his muzzle begins. And it's sort of a shape like a, hmm, an upside down heart kind of. So we will kind of do an upside down heart shape. Me and my angle's off a little bit, I think, for the center of his muzzle. Off a little bit. And we fi I, I fix as I go along. You know, it's it's never perfect starting out. So as I go along, I adjust. Uh, kind of like that. I probably have to stand up away from this so I can see what it looks like. Okay. Look at that. And then there's his jaw line. Kind of like this little bit. Yeah, we're we're kind of off a little. I just need not try so hard. Let's not try so hard. His face is not angled that far. It's more like that. And I'll fix these. Let's see. Eyes. I like to start with the eyes too because and eyes are round let's see start with basic shape round start with a circular circular eyes right there and right there They're aligned like this. Kind of adjust as I go. We have, and then we'll define the eyes as we go along. So there's like the white of the eye. And then behind it is your pupil or your iris. So we'll put another like little circle inside there. To define the iris, the brown part. He's got brown eyes. Then it's kind of like this, like a wrinkle. They got those little flat noses. Go like that. Adjust the muzzle a little bit. Face may be longer than that. Like this. I just kind of get darker as I go along too to define like where the actual end result is going to be. Let's see, let's do people. His eyes are really dark, so it's hard to to see. White here, pupils right here, pupil here, pupil there. Okay, and then obviously his eyes aren't perfectly round, so what I do is start out with them round and then define the actual shape of the eye um, kind of like he's kind of like that looking sad they all have those sad puppy dog eyes so we just go around and define more detail. It's kind of 
kind of hard to do to video and draw at the same time and make sure that you guys can see everything and kind of understand my thought process here. It's probably been over a year since I've drawn anything. Okay. And there's that. And the top of the eye is always darker. It's always like a shadow here. This is just going to be a sketch and then later on we can kind of go over it with I don't know ink or something I'm not sure yet what I want to do his eyes pretty dark his irises are pretty dark around the edges and is he looking right Make sure his eyes are both are looking in the same direction, each eye, so he's not all not all cross eyed. <laughs> all right, so I think I'm pretty happy with that nose. How far is his nose? Hmm. I think I roughly decided it was there. Let's kind of fill in his little wrinkle here for his muzzle and then from there kind of see where his nose I think from there the top of his nose starts right right there if you can sorry I'm sniffling I don't know I've got like the sniffles today so I apologize and a little curve it's the top of his nose is like a little it's not straight across it's curved you just have to look at all the details and the basic what's your bait what's the basic shape that you see I see just a slight curve at the top of and then they have that line there for the nostrils and he let's see and there's like the separation of the mouth and then we will do sorry I'm getting quieter I'm like talking to myself now um, I don't usually talk to myself when I dry just think and just do it so here's a little his nostril kind of like curves like this and then the other one is the same way just kind of like has a little curve and then it just kind of you know, like a triangle but not a sharp triangle it's a curve, almost like an oval type oval shape to it to his nose like that and then comes down in a there's the oval shape and then it just kind of meets like that and then you have this center part his muzzle then his mouth got the separation here and this other separation is right here where his mouth is is darker than the rest and then here's his little chinny chin chin it's kind of it's got a small chin like a, the flaps of his muzzle are like hang down more than his chin so let me try that 
me step back and see what I got so far. All right. He's black and white, so he's got this black right here. He's got the muzzle that this part of his muzzle is white. He's got a white muzzle, and it kind of just slightly curves like this and goes around. And I actually think that I have this too fat. I do believe slightly. <clears throat> kind of adjust as we go along and I can erase some of my marks. Hmm. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Like this. Like that. Because his eye socket is like right there. It's got like some wrinkles right there. Now we can just kind of clean this up a little bit. And I've gotten, let's see, it's got wrinkles here. eye socket or eyebrow area right here. It's got some cute little wrinkles. And I'm just I'm just like lightly just sketching in where the little wrinkles are. We can divide those later. Here's the side of his face. Let's see. I think it might be a little too wide. Let's try this. Let's go back to, I'm going to go back to this, kind of brown right here, where his wrinkles are. That just kind of goes in like this, and then this way. And we can get rid of it. And I actually still think his chin is shorter. But he's got like some wrinkles there. Some flab under here. <clears throat> and then his face, let's see, the actual side of his head starts right here kind of goes in and then he's got all these like wrinkly skin right here this wrinkly neck right here and he's still let's see I think I need to Raises, maybe make his head a little bit taller. I gotta stand up, see what I'm doing. I think his head might be too short. They do have short little round heads, but in this picture, I think he's got, he's a little longer up here. Let's work on ears. The length of his ears are about, uh-oh, yeah, I got room, okay, they're like that, and then we've got our angle of our head, the angle of his head, so this will be where the top of his ears are, they're going to match the angle of the head, which is just like a slight like this 
top of the ears. We want to make sure the angle is about the same, roughly. So this is where the top of his ears will end up. And let's see how much space there is between the ear, I think. The beginning of the left ear starts about in the middle of his nose. middle of his nose so just right there so we'll start it right there and it's his ears are kind of triangle like but they're straight triangled kind of maybe like a long it's a long right ears that big their ears are that big Yeah, yeah, they've got some big ears. That just looks awful big, but okay. I can adjust, I can adjust. That looks, hmm, from there to there is probably, let's see, there, it's about that length. I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, that's pretty close. I think I might just bring that down a little bit. That looks awful big to me there. We'll lower that top a little bit. It's not gigantic ears, but I don't have a French Bulldog. Maybe they... Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> and it's probably the angle, because this, this shot is like from from above, and he's looking up, so the ears are probably yeah, they're going to be the most prominent very cute. And then it starts right here. Let's see. Do this. Looks like uh, some rabbit ears. Very cute. Come on, kind of like what you call this part of the ear, and then it just kind of goes like this. So it's not like a perfect oval. There's like little shapes there. Pretty big old ear, and it's like right there. Ear number two kind of starts and it's a little wider looking because a little wider looking than the left ear just from the angle let's see it starts about here let's see let's see let's make sure that that that's not even right. If my angle's right here, but that I try to get that right. Let's make sure that this angle is going right to Let me just fill this in real quick. I'll try to get it perfect on the first try here, but just... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So it starts there. Something ain't right. Oh, 
is it like like that to stand back and take a look stand back and take a look at this mm -hmm. this here And kind of goes like this. And kind of out this way. Just kind of defining it some more. More like, and then it goes. So here's like that. Like that. It's pretty, I don't know, the ear looks pretty wide in the picture too, so, you know, we can kind of, we'll erase the, uh, some of these guidelines. And I'm still thinking, I think something's not right still this muzzle is not right. This muzzle is not as there. It doesn't come out as far as I drew it. It's kind of looked off. I'm just going to continue to to tweak this to make it just look the way that I think it should look proportion wise and, and angle you know the angles make sure that the angles look correct and then he's got his body begins here. And just a little bit past this line of his nose is where his neckline begins, or his chest. Yeah, and that's, that's this little wrinkle. It's just like skin right there. He's got some skin. Flabby skin under his chin. You want to you want to step back, stand up, step back and look at it from a distance and just assess and make sure everything looks right to you proportion wise angle wise I think so far so good so, I'm sure I'll get faster at this the more that I do. I, I'm like I said, I'm out of practice, and and it's hard to just kind of go through my thought process with you guys while I am drawing. I just am silent and kind of concentrate normally. Just kind of concentrate what I'm doing, and I just want to make sure that you guys can see as much as you can and this is where here's where his little wrinkle some more so we're just we're just going to add a little bit more details more and more detail as we go along 
and then he's got black his nose and I'm gonna try not to do too detailed I mean this is just a beginner thing and like his mouth is kind of black here his nose has got some black here so I'm just gonna lightly I'm just gonna indicate where that is and then his little whiskers kind of start like the dots of where his whiskers begin here's like a little wrinkle they've got lots of little wrinkles so let's see like I said there's where his body begins and we won't do the whole body we'll just uh, I think I think we'll tweak the eyes a little this eye let's see should be like this and like this Maybe that's all I will do. Well, for now, just getting the basic information in right now. And he's got little tufts of hair here. Excuse me for my sniffling. Like I said, we can define this more as we go along. Kind of go. And then we can get the inside of the ears. And it's kind of, so now I'm just going to lightly just indicate, and you may not be able to see this. Are you even able to see the ear? Yeah, you do. You can see it. Boy, those ears look awful big, but they look bigger in the camera than they do on my picture. And I think he's alright. He's looking alright so far. Proportion wise, looking pretty good. This eye needs to, this iris needs to come in a little bit. People need to come in a little bit. Looking kind of crazy. And I will, let's see, here's where his little neck, little neck wrinkles start. So they're not that far out there, about right there. He's got a little dot, little black dot right there. He's got black right here, that's where... And there's where his little eyebrow begins and then that is also where his black the black part of his face is starts like right here and then he's got that this little thing going on here hmm which means I may be a little off again with the muzzle for goodness sake can't be that off so it's like this because the curve isn't that much and then okay like that the black begins here's the black part it's like from here up to here okay and then his wrinkles he's got a couple of wrinkles here okay that's just black we'll fix that and then his cute little wrinkly head 
There's where that black part is on this, around this eye, part of his eyebrow, that's black, then this is, okay, there's his eyebrow, there's where his black is. Got some, and these will be dots. There's this is where it's like whiskers, whisker pores are, whatever they are called. Those little dots where his whiskers go. I'm just I'm just creating a guideline for that. There's a little, goes right there, black there, okay, wrinkles, his chest, and some fur, tuft fur right there, then his leg starts here, and let's I think we're good with the angle, the ears, and the length, so we can erase this guideline. And what I wanted to do is also, I wanted to get a piece of candy. Hmm. Let's do a piece of candy. I want him holding a piece of candy. Let's find let's find a picture for a reference on Pixabay. What do they call those? Sweet sweetheart. Sweetheart candy? Wonder if I can find a picture of that. Yes. And they are not perfectly okay. I wanted him like holding a. He's not gonna be holding much of anything, is he? This is just kind of looking. I wanted to put candy here. Sweethearts are not perfectly. Heart shaped are they? They're just kind of like dipping like that. And like this. Alright, gotta stand up. So let's do, let's draw the center of this so I can get the bottom centered. I have, I have a problem with getting hearts perfectly, even on both sides. Just eyeball it. And plus it's the candy, so the candy is not perfectly shaped. So, and I probably do not want the center of that to be in the center of his neck or his chest or maybe I do nah that's too that's too centered why'd I do that why did I do that let's see let's do let's make the center of the heart we want it off yeah we want it offset because that's too that's too perfectly centered, and the heart is like this. Okay. Let's see center of the top, make the center of the bottom, and I don't think they are perfectly pointy. They are not. Let's 
So let's do that. Yes. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And they are kind of, they're three-dimensional, so, hey, I got a start of the, kind of make him 3D, like. Get rid of that. It's kind of like the 3D part. What I and what I'll probably end up doing, like there's all kinds of erasures on this. You can take if it's that bad, like <laughs> like mine is, and all my good. And you may not be able to see that on this video, but. You, I can see all of my erase marks, and I'm, I'm not doing it really light so that you guys can see. I'm not worried about it, because once I get it, like, the way that I want it, and get it outlined and really defined the way that I want it to look perfect the way I want it, then I can always trace over this on another sheet of paper, and then it will just look, it'll look great, so. Now there should be. Hmm. It's that candy, and it should say, I want it to say, I'll see where I want the words to start. Like, I, I, I like doing guidelines. Let's see, the words to start here. There's a candy that says true love. Maybe I should do that. I was going to put be mine, but I kind of like that. I like a true love. So here's the height. I'm just getting top and bottom of the word true. Top and, top and bottom of the word love. And very simple letters that this candy has. It's just like straight across just a straight up and down block type of letter here so and I'll I'll clean this up too I'm just trying to get a rough That doesn't even, that is not in the middle. We'll fix that. Bear with me. Didn't say I was good at lettering. Really didn't say I was good at drawing either, but I'm not bad. Like I said, the more the more I do it, the better I'll get. And the more that you guys do it, the better you'll get. You are probably better at it already than I am. And I'm not going to do this perfectly center because these candies are not perfect. These candies are all over the place. And hopefully it looks like candy by the time we're done with this. Alright, I'm not following my guidelines now. <laughs> I'm just kind of just Sorry, not following. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what? If we're looking at it from the top, there's not going to be. Uh, Got to think of perspective here. If we're looking at this from the top, we're not going to have. We're going to see the dimension, dimensional part of this candy at the top of it the 3D part like this and not on the bottom to use our use common sense here go through and define this some more later. Let's see. I keep saying that I'll come back later. I'll make a second video on this. Clean it up. I just want to do step by step with you so that uh, I, I like long videos. That's me. And I don't want to spend the time to edit I don't have time for that, so I just, I work full time, and I just want to, like, get them up and get them done, so. Alright. Now, now I have to find my... My reference of my bulldog again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh. All right, where'd you go? There you are. So I have my heart in, and this is all sketchy and whatever, but it'll I'll fix it later. I swear. It'll be all like crisp. We'll crispen this up. Alright, so there's where his. And then he was, let's see his chest. I'm just lightly drawing what where his chest is. Um, just to get the portions right. Proportions correct. He had a little tuft of hair there. He's got like tufts of little, and his leg, the, let's see, his little front leg here starts about right up. His little elbow starts, lines up with right this part of his ear, so I'll go down. just put indicate where his little elbow is let's see the front of his leg hmm. starts like right right there it's got fat legs they have fat short legs don't they they're cute so I'm just marking this off and see where it starts. About right. How about about right? The top of his leg starts right there. Well, pretty close. Fat little legs. So the little elbow. So I think I'm going to quit for today because my back is starting to hurt. I am bent over just trying to get a look at everything. And I will do a part two where we'll finish up 
the body kind of fill in. I don't, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this part or if I just leave it. I don't know yet. So, and then we'll just continue with this where I sharpen everything up and ink it in and I shall return. So I appreciate your guys' patience and uh, I thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see be notified of my next video of